Hey guys, I hope you're doing fantastic and I hope that you have had a great week. So, of course, uh, the new Mac OS is here and that has gotten people excited. And it is uh, Monterey, Mac OS Monterey. And it arrived uh, just two days ago. And usually there is a scapegoat in a friend group, right? The one who has to install the OS and the one who has to test it out and then give you the go that yeah you can download it too right so yeah you guessed it right and uh, i've been getting a lot of uh, texts from my friends how's the os did you install it yet right so in this video i'm going to do just that we are going to install the new mac os on my m1 macbook air this is the 2020 m1 macbook air and uh, we're going to install the new Mac OS and we are also going to do a Geekbench comparison from Big Sur and Mac OS Monterey. So without further ado, let's get started. So it actually says that this size of the OS itself, the download size is like uh, 12 to 12.13 gig. And uh, of course, and I don't have to walk you through all these new features. Uh, blah 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 these are the experiences these are the true connections there is facetime blur uh we can we can talk about all these things if needed in a later video but i guess you know all of this so let's just uh download geekbench and get started i'm running the cpu benchmark first and uh this I think it took like 1 minute 40 seconds to complete and uh, these are good scores these are pretty good scores and this is the M1 Mac guys the one which came in late 2020 and that's a 1716 and 7340 let me quickly take a screenshot of that there we go let me run the compute benchmark now and this was much quicker this took like less than 40 seconds or 47 seconds i guess and this is the score 16562 and now let's go ahead and install the os and of course guys just you have to remember that you have to be plugged into power and this is fairly a large file i mean this is like 12 gigs so this might take some time so these are the screenshots from the installation and uh, and now the mac os monterey is installed and up and running and i'm running the geekbench immediately after it booted i'm not waiting for anything else i'm not waiting for the system to do its job so as you can see the cpu benchmarks are already slightly better it's 1721 and 7425 now let me run the compute benchmark i'll take a real quick screenshot of this for a comparison later and then even the time it took to run the benchmark was marginally lower and there we go uh, that's around 39 seconds that's all it took to run the uh, compute benchmark it took 47 seconds in mac os Bixer. and as you can see the scores are also marginally better now let's have a final comparison of two on the os big sir the single core is 1716 and here it is 1721 and coming to the compute benchmark it's 16562 here and 16828 on monterey so that is it guys uh, that's the conclusion in fact after the installation of the new os i didn't even wait for the os to do its job usually you'll have to wait a little bit and then figure out okay hey once everything is set then you have to run a geekbench but i didn't even wait for that i just went ahead and ran the geekbench uh, immediately after the installation of the software and even then the performance is marginally better so if you're thinking even in the remotest corner of your mind should you get the new os the answer is yes undoubtedly yes if you are running on big Sur and if you're thinking of go moving to monterey absolutely without doubt do it especially if you're running on an m1 device be it the air or the macbook pro i'm running the air right 
so and it's fantastic the performance right now it has gone up of course the real world results might be slightly different but if you look at the Geekbench right now again i didn't even wait for some time to for the os to do its job once the installation was done i just went ahead immediately and i ran the Geekbench. usually you're supposed to wait for a couple of uh, some time and then uh, run the test so it's really good i have uh, no complaints. I tried using a little bit of uh, Final Cut and everything and it sounded good until now. So hopefully it's going to be like this and right now from the Geekbench results you can absolutely go ahead and install the new OS that has just come out. So that's about it and I hope I helped you make a decision today and uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace.